Welcome back to No Nonsense Reviews and How To's, How to Hack the Nintendo Wii, Part 12. Today I'm going to show you how to add PlayStation 1 games to your Nintendo Wii. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that your 16 or 32 gig SD card is in your computer and let's get started. Go to this website which is in the description below. It may be in a different language if it is. Use your uh, Google Chrome to translate it. But once you're here, scroll down and you want to download uh, any one of these from server 1 or 2. It's version 2.3c, the latest ones. So once you've downloaded the file, find it on your computer and extract it as you've been doing throughout all these videos. So once it's extracted, go into the folder, go into the folder again, and you only want to copy the apps folder and this Wii folder here. So cut those out of there. Go to your SD card and paste them in the root. So it'll add this new Wii folder and all the apps will go into the apps folder. So once you're done that, you'll see that there's a BIOS file that's already there. Uh, there's a game that's already in there. I deleted the game. I didn't want it, but there, there's one in there regardless. And it's added all your uh, apps files too, of course, in the apps folder. Uh, now we're going to want to add a channel. So we've done this before too. Go into your channels folder. Go back to your downloads folder and you're going to go into this canal folder. This is your WAD. So you've downloaded this too and just bring it over. So we want to add some actual PlayStation 1 games now to our SD card so we can play them on the Wii. So go into the Wii SXR folder that you put on your SD card and then go into the ISOs folder here. As you can see I have games in here already with the bin and the Q files so this is how you're going to want to put them in here as well. So just like every other video, I'm not going to tell you where you can find ROMs. You're going to have to figure that out on your own. But once you have them, just put them in here like this. They don't need to be in separate folders or anything. The Wii will find them. There's another link below in the description that you're going to want to check out. So this website will tell you which games are compatible and incompatible to play on your Wii. Have a look through there before you add any PlayStation ROMs. So that's it for the computer, let's head over to the Wii. Back at the Wii, we want to go into the homebrew channel, click start. Go into your multi-mod manager, load it up. Go into the iOS manager, find 249. Once you're over it, hit the home button to load it. Once it's loaded, press B to go back, go into your WAD manager, hit A, scroll down to WADs, click A, go to channels, and find the channel you just added, there it is, press A, press A to install, success, hit any key, let's go back, we're done here. We're going to exit back to the homebrew menu and we're going to find the Wii SXR option. Once we find that, we're going to click A to go into it. We're going to change a couple of settings here. So once we're in here, we want to scroll down to settings and you want to click A. Scroll over to input and go down. We want to make sure that the controller type is analog. Uh, you want to disable the rumble, so scroll down, yes, disable it. And then you want to save your configurations. So just save them to your SD card, hit A when you're done. Go back to general, make sure Dynaric is selected. You want to select the BIOS where it is, it's on the SD card of course, that's where we put it. We definitely want to boot through the BIOS or else it won't work. And we want to save these settings again here to your SD card, hit A, hit A again. Once you're done that, exit out. And we're going to quit and we're going to go back to the Wii home screen. 
So exit to the system menu. Here we are and there is the PlayStation channel right there on the Wii home screen. So let's go into it and see what it looks like. So click start. Let's load up one of the games that we put on here. So we're going to load it from the SD card. Let's try this one. So once you've selected it, go down to play game. As you can see I have the frames per second showing, but we can turn that off. I will show you how to do that very shortly. And you don't hear any sound, but I can assure you, you will hear gameplay sound when you're playing these games. So let's exit out of here and I'll show you how to turn the frames per second off. Go down to settings, go to video and there's FPS, just click it off. That's all you need to do here. Let's get out of here. Actually before we do that, let's save the settings one more time to our SD card. Hit OK, hit A and now we can exit out of here. So that's it, that's how you add and play PlayStation 1 games on your Nintendo Wii. Stay tuned for the next video and thanks for watching.